What is up YouTube, it's your boy American Elephant. I'm gonna tell you some tips and tricks on how to build your uh, bench press up. To start things off on how to build a, a stronger bench press is your bar placement and where you're placing your hands on a barbell. Me personally, I like to place my pinkies on the brings just because I don't like personally going too far out. If I go too far out, I feel like I'm taking away too much of my triceps and if I go too far in, I'm using too much, uh, too much triceps and not enough chest. The number two thing to build a stronger bench is your feet placement. A lot of people don't believe that placing your foot in certain locations on bench is, is important. So what I like to do guys for um, foot placement is just making sure I have my legs spread it far back or get my legs as close to underneath my body as possible. The reason being is because the further back you have your legs, the more of your lower back and your leg drive you can engage in the lift. A lot of people don't understand that you can actually put your legs into the bench press lift by pressing your hips or spreading your legs back as far as you can, pretty much trying to get your legs underneath your body. And what that does is it adds more leg drive to the lift. But a mistake a lot of people make during the bench press is they just lay their feet flat out where they feel comfortable. And when you're doing that, you're taking away your low, most of your lower back and you're taking away your leg drive from the lift, which you don't want to do. Tip number three, and I don't see a lot of people talking about this, is your landing point on where that barbell touches your chest. I see in the gym a lot of people when they're benching, they try to have that bar hit the midpoint in their chest or where the nipple's at. You're aiming way too high because the simple fact, when you place that bar so high up, you're depending more on your delts instead of your chest itself and other muscles to help you in the lift. So for me personally, I like to aim right below the chest, probably the upper abdomen area for my landing point personally. The one thing I wanna talk about on building a stronger bench press is the arch, the arch, 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 arch. A lot of people believe that you have to have a stupid arch to have a strong bench press. Your arch has to be this high and me personally, I do not have an arch for shit. A lot of people told me, hey man, why don't you try to arch? Why don't you try to do this to build up a stronger bench press? And me personally, I'm just not that flexible to try to perform an exorcism to shorten the range of motion on bench. What I recommend is you just squeeze and you tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. That way you get more of your back activated, more of your lats activated when you're doing the movement. And again, guys, you do not need a crazy arch to build a strong bench. And a tip that I can give you guys on how to build a stronger bench is what I've realized is when you're benching, what you need to do is make sure you're recording your lifts. Because when you record your lifts, you can find out what your stuck point is or your stick point in every single motion, of every point of the lift and see what you need to do to improve it. Anyways guys, there's three portions of the lift, the bottom portion, the mid portion, and the top portion. The bottom portion being more of your chest being used, the mid portion being more of your chest and triceps starting to get kick in, and the top portion being more of your delts and your triceps finishing off the lift. See where your weakness is in your bench when you're maxing out, and see what areas you need to improve in the most. When you find out what areas you need to improve in, that's when you just slam that muscle. And that's what's worked best for me. The accessories that I like personally for bench, to help you guys build a stronger bench press that I recommend is making sure you hit the incline to make sure you develop a, the top portion of your chest and your front delts. Tricep pull downs with the straight bar to make sure you hit that inner head of your tricep. The rope pull down where you're coming straight down and you're pulling out to hit the outer tricep head. Another workout that I recommend you guys do is close grip bench. Guys, that workout destroys destroys your triceps and it helps you a lot with the lockout of the bench. Another question that I get asked a lot is how many times am I supposed to bench throughout the week or how many times do I recommend a person to bench throughout the week? Me personally, I like three times a week just to make sure you wear that muscle out a good amount of times. I hear from a lot of people you should do five, four, and I'm not, I have nothing against that personally. It's just I feel like my bench does better when I get my bench time to, like, I get my muscles the time to heal. Like, I feel like for me, benching four or five times a week is way too much because when I start 
benching that many times a week, that's when I started noticing I have joint problems, like joint pains. What I did to, to fix this problem is I just started benching two to three times a week. And doing that, my bench started increasing more than it did when I was benching four to five times a week. And that's just the reason because when I was benching, I wasn't having joint pains throughout the whole entire lift. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to give you guys some cookie cutter information saying, oh, you need to do this to do that. You need to do that to that to do this. What I recommend for anybody that's trying to build a stronger bench press is making sure you're at least benching three times a week, making sure you're recording all your lifts, make sure you're studying your lifts, finding out where in your lifts or is your weak point and figuring out which muscles to hit to get rid of that weak point. Oh, <laughs>